We're off to Oliver's, the great lion of Buffalo fine dining. No other restaurant in Buffalo even approaches the historic and weighty affair that is Oliver's. Should we look at the wine list? Shall we look at a wine list? Sure. Since 1936, Oliver's has led the pack in high-end fine dining and no-holds-barred sophistication. <laughs> I can't believe they agreed to let us film inside this place. How do you know when your girlfriend's gaining weight? <laughs> I don't know, how do you know? When she starts wearing your wife's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I do like that. What's this? This is not the pompous attitude I was expecting. See my fingers? They never leave my hand. They never leave my hand. <laughs> He's a magician, this guy, as well as a bartender. Once in the place, I was introduced to some guy, Rob, a regular at Oliver's and my host for the evening. If first impressions say anything, I can totally see this guy belting back martinis and hitting on divorcees. I like this dude. I face my fear and I put this snake around my... After some wine and some off-color guy talk, I was summoned to take a tour of the kitchen. We're gonna do a duck confit salad for you. Fantastic. First we take the duck leg, cure it overnight, shallot, salt, sugar, thyme, rosemary. We braise it off in its own fat. It's a classic technique for storing food. Well, confit, confit style. Confit, you know, it's got to be in its own fat. These guys are treating me to a demo straight off the Food Should Network. Try. Hey, careful not to get the grease on my tie now. Now what we'll do is garnish it with our tempura gorgonzola cheese and a couple pieces of applewood smoked bacon. Finish it with our vinaigrette around the plate and another little piece of brise over the top. Don't breathe hard. Well, it has some structural integrity. <laughs> this is one of our signature salads, the duck confit salad. On this plate, we have our mozzarella fettuccine with roasted red peppers, aged balsamic vinegar, basil oil, and some baby arugula. Now, my question is, who gets to eat this? Uh, hopefully, our lovely customers. Th these plates right here? Yeah. Oh, you guys. Well, there, that's what I was hoping. You can eat these. That's good. <laughs> it's deep fried gorgonzola cheese, how could it be bad? I couldn't help but feel excited to see these extra young chefs preparing downright hip concoctions at a supposedly old school restaurant. I like it spicy, like, just like my women. Mm. That's good stuff. Uh, what's the deal with the brick? What is that? Uh, what, what does a brick do that's so special? Why put a brick on your on your chicken? It's I mean, heavy. Uh, creates a nice. Crusty skin. Crispy skin Creates mouth. extra contact okay. with the pan. Lo and behold, these guys working as a uh, team are cranking out some serious food porn. I think I'll take it. What was going on here? Not only are the chefs, the staff, and my host Rob treating me like I'm important, the food they're presenting is modern and flip my expectations in a very good way. Food, here's the hey. food. Even the jazz, which I thought might be a bit more sedate, began to bop. Well, this is a, a rare treat for me, really. This is a former student of mine, Nelson Starr, and he's gonna sit Hopefully in. Hopefully I can make good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't embarrass me, Nelson. <laughs> The supposedly stuffy, highfalutin, and intimidating atmosphere that I took as a given was not only absent, but couldn't be further from the truth. And I didn't even have to work off my meal at the dishwashing station. My hat's off to new friends and a new place to rock it with a major touch of class. If this is old school dining, I'll take it. We'll see you next time on All Access Pass.